Astroneer. In this video, we're gonna react to another Let's Game It Out video, and if you haven't heard of him yet, then welcome to the new cult. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And also, right here, all of these videos are recorded 100% live, and if you wanna join the fun, then come on in next time. If you haven't yet become a member, any support that helps me goes right back into the channel to help make this stuff better. Back to it. It's Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing some Astroneer today, and oh boy, is this game always a good time. They put us on a planet, and basically, Basically, we're here to ruin it. Anyway, let's get started. The planet awaits. Have y'all ever played this game ever? But honestly, it's just one of these really genuine games that you remember. Oh good, we've been here all of one second and we're already <laughs> knocking down trees. And look I don't at know us. why we're the trees just fell landscaping like that. as well. You know what really beautifies a planet? Some nice fresh asphalt. But let's go ahead and take a healthy look at our surroundings. We've got beautiful trees, we got beautiful mountains, we've got beautiful shipwrecks, and pretty much a whole bunch of that. Oh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Remember all this nature we were talking about? Well, it's all ours for the taking, which we do by deploying this little guy. Yeehaw. I like that the gun just, he just like, you know, nothing there and then just <laughs> deploy the space vacuum and just generally uproot everything and suck it into our gun. <laughs> Hello, space plants. How are you this fine day? Anyway, that's great. Get into my gun. And really, nothing is safe from our space gun. Not these space compounds, not this space macaroni. And these, when you're digging around for the first time, truly, you kind of wander around. You're like, oh, yeah, that, that looks like macaroni. Then you find the, the gray bubbles and you're like, okay. I'm gonna get these two. It's a really fun game. If you haven't played it, you mean you really should. Precious things that we're sucking up are the building blocks to crafting. That's right, all of these things sticking out of my backpack. These are the things I use to build stuff. And you might be wondering to yourself, what's this cord coming out of my crotch? That's like... <laughs> What's this cord coming out of my crotch? Actually, your oxygen tether. It doesn't always stick out quite like that. It's actually attached to your backpack. But if we get too far away from home base, our little meter on the back here is gonna tell when we're running out of oxygen. And when it gets too low, well, I think you can figure out what happens next. I can't tell you how many times you will die by just accidentally suffocating yourself. I mean, you'll just be walking around and you'll take advantage of your backpack. I mean, you're suffocated and die. Great game, really is. And before you know it, we take the expressway to Respawnville. Population, our fresh new corpse. Yeah, I mean, it's like body. an endless anyway, clone. Let's go collect our crap. Gimme, 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 gimme. So that pretty much <laughs> encompasses our astro mission, also known as taking resources and building stuff. Anyway, to keep from suffocating to death over and over again, on the back of our backpack here, we can actually make something called tethers using our compound resource. And then we get these little things. Yep. Yeah. You see how they're glowing? That's the oxygen <laughs> yeah. coursing into our brains. Oh, it just feels so good. Now we don't have to choose between exploring and breathing. Now we can do both. Ooh, what do we- By the time you get really deep into the game, you're gonna have this really- disgusting, gross network of oxygen tethers that you don't really mean to do, but you just kind of get too lazy to pick them up because they're so cheap. We have here a spinny thingy, also known as- a I really hope he takes advantage of that, just how much of a mess you can make in this game. A small wind turbine. Well, it doesn't look like we can pick this up right now, so instead I guess we'll just bury it. There you go, precious debris. Have fun in your <laughs> new home. I'll come back for you, maybe. Anyway, now that we've got the basics under control, let's do a little decorating. So the last time I played this game, I built stuff on top of the base, like all over oh, on top gosh. of the base. So I figured this time we would go underground. How oh, jeez, I, I didn't no know you idea. did that. We can't seem to dig up to go this back material, but we can definitely dig up everything around it. So let's go ahead and dig out a perimeter around the base and see if we can't punch up this little island to look better. Oh, hey, welcome back. I uh, might have gone a little overboard. I think I might have gone a lot overboard. <laughs> a lot, a lot, oh, a gosh. lot overboard. It also turns out you can oh, dig Oh my gosh, it. that is the beautiful thing about this this game because you'll look down and you'll have this really awesome network of just tunnels, oxygen things to just be exploring. And you haven't even left this planet yet, but and you're still just destroying this one. I mean, how far down can it really be? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? He's gonna die. Yep. <laughs> well, seems like far enough. What if I get like a running leap? Huh? Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm alive, so I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> and with enough perseverance, we can find our way back up to the top. We don't have much oxygen, and I'm pretty sure we can't reach that again. That's okay, we don't really- So he's got this gun lay land back down, so you can make, like, a pretty cool sky base with bridges and stuff, but, you know, he's not gonna do that. We all know this. Really need to be up there anyway. The only problem is our oxygen comes from up there. But don't worry, I have a solution for that, too. First, let's get a fresh body that's already on the platform. <laughs> so here's the secret to he this just base. so freely this kills himself. right here. 
It's the Oxygenator. Provides a constant flow to connected tethers, platforms, and cables. Well, that sounds great. So you're coming with us. Easy. Easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, look, it's whoops. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's fine, even though we're not. Okay, now the next order of business is we need to get this thing hooked up. Because unfortunately, we can't just drop a tether and have it work. It needs right. to be on like a platform or something. But the solution is on our back this whole time. It's called making a small printer. And now we can take this thing and just hurl it on the ground. Yeah, that's right. Dying is the best reset. Oh, right. We gotta plug the thing in. Well, no problem. Because that's what making a small generator is for. Okay, and I guess we'll just put this, I don't know, right there. Why not? <laughs> And now all we need to do is give it some fuel. Like this green stuff on my backpack. In you go. Ah, churning away. Okay, let's But plug if you it use in. that, Come it doesn't on, last long. Reach. Fine, get closer. The green I know stuff. it's my own fault. There we go. Sweet, sweet power. And we better get this solved soon because I keep dying. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> the way that this works is the printer lets us print stuff, including <laughs> bigger so printers. High. <laughs> That's how that works. But for starters, we need a medium platform. Quickly, print faster. Oh, good. You boxed it for us and everything. I'll make like that Christmas. A task for next me to deal with. Next me. <laughs> I love that he doesn't even bring okay, oxygen down I? there. He's just, you. just reset and jump back right down. Here. No. Oh, God. Where did it go? You fell down this hole? How? Why? What are the odds? <laughs> Why are my legs broken again? <laughs> oh, and also there's underground caves. This game is magical. Okay, then. This I guess game. This is so when you start, you kind of do a little bit of digging. Like, and then you start getting brave and going down with your oxygen tethers, and then you start discovering the caves. And if you haven't played it yet, what, you can get to the core of this place. So magical the first time doing it. Where it is now. Anyways, you can see there's two little prongs that we can plug the oxygenator into. You know, if we could get back up into that hole. <laughs> oh, you know what, though? I wonder if we can with our amazing mind powers. <laughs> yep, battle about Just straight up oh, what there. Wonderful I love timing. It. Just in time for a new body to handle this. Okay. Easy. Get this thing finally connected. Ah, uh, sweet, that's all you sweet need. air. And it powers itself. What a deal. Wait a minute. Can I tether this stuff to the underside of oh, our yeah. original base? You oh, sure can. awesome. <laughs> Wait, does that work for everything? Oh my god. Well, I think oh we know where my. we're building everything. If it doesn't fit on this existing surface, we don't need it. And now we're going <laughs> to use this small printer to build all kinds of other if fun things. If it don't things. fit on this you existing this surface, on we don't need it. It actually pulls right out and shows us all of our unlockables. Blue over here means we have it unlocked. Pink means we need to unlock it and then we can build it ourselves. But honestly, there's so many items in this game. We're just going to focus on the ones we want. We're going to want solar and we're also going to want win and to unlock them we need bytes but first we're going to use the small printer to print a medium printer yep there it is being grafted right to the side i love that logic your backpack is a printer that prints a bigger printer and then that printer makes a bigger printer and then that big that printer makes it an even bigger printer it's just printerception <laughs> i'd looking good and now we'll use this to print a large oh printer. that would be Yay, so dark science now that we've got all this crap it's time to earn some bytes that's what the research chamber is for which we can make make right here on one of the printers. Yes, there we go. Print it into another structure. Okay, <laughs> and we'll just put this right here like that. Good. Sweet. Well, now that we've got this thing, we need something to shove in this big open space. So we're hey, looking thanks for, for stuff sub. like I appreciate this. It. Hello, thingy in a tree. You've probably existed there untouched for like a million years. Well, you're ours now. If you didn't want to be plucked, you shouldn't be your item. Ah, take that, nature. Just you, <laughs> me, and my little floating palace. Out. When you discover those like other ways to do research and stuff, having to go unless you have like a way like a truck, pulling them one by one just takes forever. And then you'll find yourself like running around all over the forests. Oh, yeah. It's a process. Do is just shove it in the machine. Oh uh, yeah, twenty four bytes oh, a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Extract all that good stuff while it's up there doing its thing. I'm gonna go find some more of those things. Here's a couple. Here you go. And you. Yeah, he's great. about to find out. Oh, it just takes so long. Pretty promising. Yep, this thing's good. Okay, this is probably good. <laughs> one right? by I'm one. Sure oh my gosh. So we'll scan that one, and then we'll scan all of of these hold please and scene now we're sitting on a cool 18,000 okay it already showed you the the 24 per minute so then you get an example so you can do some rough cowboy math because if he did one researcher he has to sit there and look at it until it goes away then he has to do all those it's it probably took him a while it's an 884 bytes okay so let's unlock the things we need we're gonna start with some small solar as well as some small wind turbines for the solar we're gonna need copper and for the wind turbine we're gonna need ceramic copper we make by refining malachite and ceramic by clay which i'm pretty sure i know where to way find way down there you kind of got to 
walk around to find the right things on their first planet. Somewhere. Okay, if I were Clay and Malachi, where would I be? Ah, there you are. Sweet, sweet Clay. There for me to sweet, sweet take. And here in the mountains, here's the Malachi. Yeah, okay. he was probably walking Hope around for a enough. while, Either finding way, all that the fun stuff. doesn't stop here. These are just the raw minerals. The next step is to make a smelting furnace so that we can melt all this stuff down. <laughs> he just drops Thank the box. Oh, how beautiful. You look like a cosmic toilet. Since we're dealing with fire, let's go ahead and turn this one completely upside down. Yep, that's the good stuff. And before you know it, we turn this into this, which doesn't really look all that different, but I promise you it is. Now it's refined clay. Time to yes, refine it so into now a small it's wind turbine. Yeah, that'll do. Now we just need like 8 billion of them, because one on its own doesn't produce much power. Now don't forget, it all has to be added to this thing, which I don't <laughs> think will be a problem many hours later. This game gets so finicky when you're trying to put things close together. Just trust me. Okay, so I might have gone a little overboard. Listen, the important part is oh that we're gosh. supporting clean energy. Oh my energy. god. <laughs> See? Look at it go. Oh, no. That's what progress looks like. So, so much of it. But even when everything oh spins my down and gosh. fails, we're not screwed on power, don't you worry. If we stumble over all these rocks... Yeah, and he, so he did side, one half behold, wind and the other half solar. Infinite power. <laughs> you know, until the sun goes down. And then all the solar panels are like, the hell with this. So what I'm saying is all of our power problems are <laughs> Unlimited clearly Unlimited power. And that's good, because we're going to need that power. Because here's the next thing we're going to make. A railway system with all of these things required easily accessible right underneath us. Yes, printer, harness the power of all of these things aggressively spinning. Okay, there it goes. Happy birthday to us. So these green things over here are rail posts. Well, let's do our best and see if we can't place one of these down. Okay, first one down. Okay, now I'm placing a sec- So with the railroads, I mean, I played this game before, you know, the railroad update. So I'm not super familiar with this part, but I'm shocked that nothing's fallen off this rock yet. Because I know when you start jamming things too close to, together, to each other, I think there's like a priority of items. And so if, if one item, I'm not a developer, so someone in the comments correct me. If one item has a higher priority than the other, it could, you know, dislodge it and like knock it off. So I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. Second one, you can see how the if rail I'm even is going right. to go. And place. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I literally just said this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> huh, didn't see that coming. I guess you can't have anything between or under the rails, huh? You know what? Whatever. I'm not perturbed. There you go. I don't even know if there's a priority thing, but I know that that can happen. Oh, I didn't mean for it to connect already, but here we are. There well, it is. Let's pop this open and see how it works, <laughs> I, I just, guess. All he just right, leaves it on the ground. Here you go. Okay, this is about what I was hoping for. Time to hit the gas. Well, this works as well as I could have hoped it would. <laughs> we could be having this kind of fun for hours since this rung is already complete. I guess we're going to see if we can make a second one. Oh Dang. my gosh, she just lets it fall on the ground. Stuff, of course. And one more to connect it all together. Oh, oh, wow, these rails sure are powerful, aren't they? They literally just cut right through the planet. Oh, well, let's keep going and see how this turns <laughs> out. Hi, oh, yeah, me again. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard again. I don't know. What do oh, you think? Oh, gosh. I think it's probably okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Okay, look at the ground. All of his stuff just falls. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's a man of chaos. And so much more. Anyway, let me give you the tour. And by that, I mean, let's give this thing a ride and see what it's like. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Well, this sure looks fun, doesn't it? You never quite know oh where you're going to Oh my gosh, pop next, all that clipping. But at least clipping. you know it's going to be a fun ride wherever you end up. It genuinely is a nightmare when we go into this thing. It's like we're being shoved into the inside of a clock. <laughs> okay, it looks like we hit the end of the line. That took about two minutes. I bet we can do better than that. Hang on, let's check something out here. Ow. Like if instead of <laughs> going around our little planet, we instead wrap it around this whole planet. Oh, well, gosh. only one way to find out. Besides, I'm no. sure this won't take very long. It took a long time. I believe that. Okay. The planets in game are really massive. And on top of that, the grounds have really highs and really lows. And so it's hard to go just straight. You have to make a lot of bridges and do a lot of flattening. So this probably took them maybe forever. I don't know. That wasn't so hard. All we had to do was build this big rail that goes all the way down gosh. the planet. Now, I'm not oh, going to lie. Gosh. Some of it is not exactly a straight line. <laughs> and honestly, I don't even know how this happened. <laughs> he doesn't anyway, care. It continues yeah, that's right. You get to the point with these kind of projects where you just stop 
not caring. Back to where we started. Oh, and we also needed to supply this thing with power. So we went into the shed and dug out our old <laughs> extension cables. Because it turns out, I guess the wind stuff is still Plenty operational of power. somehow. I'm not going to question it. All right, giddy up. <laughs> Let's get going. You know, I got to say, pretty pleasant journey for a very versatile cart. Oh boy, and here comes my favorite part. Huh, huh. This honestly kind of feels like the ride you put your kids on at Disneyland. That's like safe for all ages and kind of interesting. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I give Astroneer's Wild Ride three out of five stars on Yelp. Mostly fun, but where's the thrill? And then before you know it, you're home. Okay, so that was about six action-packed minutes. Oh my but gosh. I think I know how to make it better. It's called reintroducing an old friend oh of ours. Gosh. An old friend called Dynamite. Which, as a reminder, works a little something like this. Ah, how did he wow, not die? He survived. I'm surprised too. <laughs> anyway, that's basically what one does. So I guess the next order of business is seeing how a lot of them do. Yeah, yeah, like that. Now oh we're talking just rows my and rows gosh. And rows of dynamite. Okay, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious here, but he just has to be in creative mode. He just has to, because making dynamite just takes forever to get the resources. Just a totally normal, fun little romp. <laughs> dynamite trails on each side. Oh, what gosh. could possibly be more exciting than this? It keeps so going. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how this is going to go. I mean, things oh are going to go gosh. Boom, But for this dynamite to go off, I have to light the fuse myself. And then we have a That's very right. short We're not surprised. time before it blows up. Okay, so let's give this a shot and go. Whoa! Ooh, oh my freezing. gosh! That's more like it. Everything barren and... How has this game just not crashed? That is a sheer amount of actions right there. Plane and random floating stuff. Give me basic geometry like this is a game from 1992. Oh, oh no! <laughs> well, at least the mountains... There it goes. There what it the goes. What just happened? Was there a glitch in the <laughs> matrix? All this stuff should definitely be gone. This is so baffling. Like, you can see the exact moment where it redraws the game back in. Oh, gosh. Well, there's definitely stuff missing, <laughs> as you can see. But if you run at it, it forces you upward. I'm sorry. Is the planet fighting back? Because we can't have that. We For can't us, it just have means that. To do more controlled bursts until the whole planet goes like this. Oh gosh. So, uh, <laughs> let's get started, shall we? Now, my understanding is things will blow up as long as it's a reasonable distance from you. So we're just gonna have to go quadrant by quadrant. Hey, fine by me, <laughs> oh, planet. Gosh. After all, there's always more. The setups he does for these jokes are just so insane. I mean, just to reset all that up and get the camera angle right. I mean, good for more him. More dynamite where this came from. <laughs> yep, so far so good. He just good. keeps and falling. Like I said, always more where that came from. Okay, yeah, so he's definitely in creative mode because his oxygen meter on his bag is, you know, maxed out, so he's fine. Okay, obviously creative mode. We figured this one out. From Oh gosh. <laughs> And he boy, just is falls. It satisfying. And we're suddenly in our own personal amphitheater. <laughs> and, and the world just spews forth with minerals for us. Trees, how are you feeling? Okay, good. What about oh, you, mountaintops? Oh, nice that's just here. gone. You know, I might be at this for a while, so uh, hold, please. Oh my god, that made such a big... This well, hello there, so weary traveler. Long. So I've got some good news <laughs> and bad news. The good news is we've taken a huge chunk out of the planet, oh like an unbelievable gosh. amount. And hey, the train is still here. And golly, is it fun I to see love, the sights now. Come I love that the train still <laughs> works. Complete with pieces of land just popping up. Everything looks kind of like the Grand Canyon. Anyway, that's the good news. The bad news is after blowing up so much of the world, we appear to be on borrowed time. The frame <laughs> rates get more glorious with each passing moment. And while it's spectacular at first, there's a point where the game decides it needs more RAM. Like all of it. I'm not even kidding. Here's my task oh manager. Oh my gosh. Do you see what I see? Like Astroneer taking up all my available RAM, like over 55 gigs. Oh it was my at this gosh. point that the game not only crashed, but it crashed my audio and video recording software hey, Mike. before my computer eventually just gave up. So while we didn't erase the entire planet, you know what? There's always next time. Maybe I'll upgrade to more RAM. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.